Hi there, Linda Artisani, Artisani Bookkeeping. So we're continuing with taking and going through all the different apps that are out there. And th there's thousands of legal software apps. I'm just grabbing a handful of the ones I see that are the more popular ones. And this week is all about Juris. So Juris is an app made by Thomson Reuters, desktop program. It is, it's a heavy program. It is a program that is expensive. It doesn't give you a trial. So I was able to grab some screenshots of the look of it. And I have worked in it because I've taken clients off of it to put them in the cloud-based type of software. So I have familiarity with it. It is a lot of clicks to do everything. So if you're looking for, it, it's, it, it is robust. It's a full accounting platform. So you're going to get the law specific stuff. You're going to get the trust accounting. You're going to get the, you're going to be able to look up case law. You're going to be able to get the calendaring. Although the calendar is kind of weird. It's like a heat map kind of thing. But if you're looking for something that you can pick up your phone, look something up, or you're going to have to have either a server or maybe a right networks to be able to look at this product and be able to do it from like home. Right now we're all at home working. It would be difficult to do that unless you had some kind of a server. So you're looking at a very high price for the software. It's really not a software for a smaller firm because it's really out of the price point of a smaller firm like a solo or a solo plus. You're looking at if you need a server, if you to have that ability to log in, you're gonna to have to do that. And you're looking at a product that's very rigid. It is not specifically accounting. It's almost like the accounting was the extra after piece. So it's not exactly like a QuickBooks, which is just accounting, right? So it's, it's definitely got those features to it. So let me just share my screen. It's just gonna be a presentation that I'm gonna show so you can see the picture of what it looks like. And it's going to look a lot like the old days back in the maybe the late 90s for software. It's got that look and there's a lot of clicks and it's got that. I'll show you. I'll just show you. So I'm going to share my screen. So I warned you it's got the desktop -y look, right? So here's just a picture of a credit memo audit. So it's just a report. We're trying to go through and pull up a report. Um, this is just some pictures. You can see that the, the side view kind of looks like this. Uh, if I take you here, you can see we've got just a little snippet of where the matter looks. It, it reminds me a little bit of One Right Plus back in the day, right? So it had this kind of look. Method begins with wild card, select all clients. This is building out a report. So you do have the ability to really customize a lot of reports, but it doesn't have spell check. That's kind of a bad thing, right? When you're doing work, you want to look professional. If you're not a great speller, like a lot of people cannot be great at spelling, you might find that that might be a deal breaker. Uh, you can see here I've got, here's my client, Fabian Construction. It's under the client and the client nickname, the Matter nickname. So it's just some of the ways you can kind of go through here. And here's a little more detailed view of unpaid bills. So this is kind of your AR. It has a great AR and a great AP. So accounts receivable, accounts payable, very good. That's it. That's my whole video for this. Like I said, not a lot to say because I don't get a trial to look at. I obviously can't take my client's file and look at it. So I wanted you to get a little snippet view of the type of product that you'd be purchasing if you purchased Juris and get an idea of what it looks like. Lots of clicks to do a lot of things. You can build a lot of reports, but you're looking at a lot of clicking around to get to do something that's a lot easier in a cloud-based software. And if you're familiar with using cloud-based software, you might struggle with that hierarchy view of all getting through all the different places inside of Juris. You'll be clicking around trying to find the specific kind of branch on the tree, so to speak. So I hope this is a little bit helpful. Obviously not a product I'd recommend. I'm all about the cloud, all about automation, all about, all about technology, 21st century. Let's just get with it and get into a product that's gonna be, I can pick up my phone and look something up. I can go from my iPad. I can go from any device. If I'm at a hotel, I can pull something up with my VPN or something. I can do it with my laptop. You don't have that ability unless you have to log into a server and a server has a pretty high cost. So on that note, I hope everybody has a wonderful weekend, short video to the point, but hopefully it's helpful giving you a little bird's eye view of what Juris would look like. 
We are specialists in taking you off of these desktop products and putting you into cloud-based software. So if you're interested in getting off of maybe a clunky type of program that crashes all the time, plenty of those softwares out there, the legal industry is ripe with a lot of some softwares that have been around for a long time. A lot of law firms are big about using the same software and never really moving out of some of the paper-centric ways. Now's the time to do it. Maybe you're hitting a slow point. It's a really good time to get moving with getting some automation, changing up the workflows to make them work better so that you don't have to work so hard. Have a great week. Bye now.